a battle for the skies. Su-30 MKI versus JF-17 versus MiG-35. Right, let's talk fighter jets. Specifically, three of the most capable fighters in the skies today, all vying for that title of most powerful. We're pitting nation against nation, design philosophy against design philosophy. India's Su-30 MKI, the workhorse, the evolution of an air superiority legend. Pakistan's JF-17 Thunder, punching well above its weight class. And from Russia, the MiG-35, a technological leap forward, bristling with advancements. This isn't just about specs on paper, though. We're diving deep into the real-world implications, the strengths, the weaknesses, the scenarios where each jet shines or falls behind. So buckle up, because things are about to get tactical. Su-30 MKI, India's thrust vectoring titan. Let's start with India's pride, the Su-30 MKI. This thing is big. Twin engines, canards, that distinctive profile. It's a statement piece as much as a war machine. And those engines aren't just for show. We're talking raw power here, enough to make the Su-30 MKI one of the most maneuverable heavy fighters out there. But maneuverability is nothing without control. And that's where thrust vectoring comes in. Imagine being able to point your engines in different directions mid-flight. That's what the Su-30 MKI can do, allowing for maneuvers that would make other jets stall out faster than you can say Cobra. This thing can dance, but it's not all about agility. The Su-30 MKI packs a serious punch. We're talking a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, bombs, you name it. It's a true multi-role fighter, capable of taking on enemy aircraft, ground targets, the lot. And then there's the range. This thing can fly for ages, giving India a significant reach across the region. It all adds up to a formidable aircraft, one that's earned its place as a cornerstone of the Indian Air Force. JF-17 Thunder, Pakistan's agile all-rounder. Now onto the JF-17 Thunder, a joint venture between Pakistan and China. It might not have the imposing size of the Su-30 MKI, but what it lacks in sheer bulk, it makes up for in agility and cost-effectiveness. See, the JF-17 was designed from the ground up to be a lightweight, multi-role fighter that wouldn't break the bank. And it delivers. This single-engine jet is surprisingly nimble, capable of holding its own in a dogfight against more expensive opponents. It might not have thrust vectoring, but its aerodynamic design and fly-by-wire system make it incredibly responsive. Plus, don't let the lightweight tag fool you. The JF-17 can still pack a punch. It's armed with a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, as well as a capable 23mm cannon. It's also surprisingly stealthy for its size, with a reduced radar cross-section that makes it harder to detect. The JF-17 Thunder might not be the flashiest jet on the block, but it's a testament to smart design and efficient engineering. It's a true all-rounder, capable of performing a variety of missions without breaking the bank. And for Pakistan, that makes it an invaluable asset. Chapter 3. MiG-35, Russia's Digital Dogfighter. Finally, we come to the MiG-35, Russia's answer to the modern fighter jet challenge. This is where things get really interesting, because the MiG-35 is all about pushing the technological envelope. At its core, it's an evolution of the legendary MiG-29, but with a whole host of upgrades that make it a whole new beast. We're talking advanced avionics, a state-of-the-art radar system that can track multiple targets at ridiculous ranges and a suite of electronic warfare systems that make it incredibly difficult to jam or target. But the MiG-35 isn't just about fancy electronics. It's also incredibly maneuverable, thanks to its aerodynamic design and powerful engines. It might not have thrust vectoring like the Su-30 MKI, but it makes up for it with sheer agility. And when it comes to firepower, the MiG-35 doesn't disappoint. It's armed with a deadly array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, as well as a 30mm cannon that can make short work of just about anything. 
The MiG-35 is a statement piece for the Russian aerospace industry, a demonstration of their commitment to pushing the boundaries of what a fighter jet can do. It's a technological marvel and a force to be reckoned with. So there you have it, three incredible fighter jets, each representing the pinnacle of their respective nation's aerospace capabilities. Choosing a clear winner? Well, that's where things get complicated. The Su-30 MKI offers unmatched versatility and raw power. The JF-17 Thunder provides a cost-effective and surprisingly capable solution. And the MiG-35 pushes the boundaries of technology with its advanced systems and impressive performance. The truth is, the best fighter jet depends entirely on the situation. A dogfight over a densely populated area? The JF-17's agility might give it an edge. A long-range strike mission? The Su-30 MKI's endurance would be invaluable. A head-to-head -head confrontation against a technologically advanced opponent? The MiG-35's electronic warfare suite could be a game-changer. Ultimately, the power of an Air Force comes down to more than just the individual capabilities of its jets. Training, tactics, logistics, and overall strategy all play a crucial role. If you enjoyed this comparison, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses and updates on the latest in military aviation.